Let's start with, are all parasites bad? Ooh, good question. So I would say this, all parasites come at a cost in this day and age is you have more and more reasons than ever before to have an overload of parasites. Yes, it's really fun to talk about these on social media right now because they're gross and scary sounding, but this is actually a debilitating and devastating epidemic. And that's not too strong a phrase to say. When most people think of parasites, they think parasites are, would be in the gut. How is somebody gonna know that they actually have parasites? Some of the telltale signs are sleep disruption, being more energized at night, sleep apnea, teeth grinding, bruxism, the clenching of the jaw, TMJ, and also food sensitivities like dairy intolerances and gut pain, especially after foods. You might have an intermittent spot that hurts after meals, and that could literally be nests of parasites moving. Also a tendency towards inflammation, most of them are invisible to the naked eye. So it's a broad presentation, you could have some or any of those parasites. What I want people to understand though, is if you apply a systematic approach to parasites, your symptoms can actually reverse. Let's talk about the connection between gut health, parasites, and bone health. How would other gut health issues of parasites play into that bone loss too? Well, think about it this way. 